Hi, Ryan here with AlarmSystemStore.com. Today I am going to show you how to depacify the WT4911BATT, which is the battery for the 4911 uh, wireless outdoor sirens, whether it's the red strobe or blue strobe. So let's get right to it. Let's go right to my desk and uh, we'll do this. Okay, here we have the DSC WT4911R, which is a red strobe outdoor siren wireless for the DSC Alexor and Impasa systems. Um, if you have a 4911B, that just typically means you have a, a blue strobe. Anytime you are replacing the battery in the 4911s, um, it, it's really important that you depacify the battery beforehand. Um, when you get the siren new, big sticker on the front says important. Read these instructions prior to ins installation. That is very important because that talks about depacifying this battery. All right, what I'm going to do now is take off the cover, set it to the side, and inside you've got your strobe lights, you've got your siren, you've got your battery with the, uh, the connector that goes right inside here is where you plug it in at. Um, and then you've got four screws that you can mount the siren with. It's pretty nifty that they actually got those little holders there. All right, it's really important that you depacify this battery. And to simply do this, whether it's a new siren or you're replacing the battery, you must hold down the tamper switch. Then you plug it in while you continue to hold down the switch. And then once it's plugged in, you wait 10 seconds um, before releasing the tamper switch. So here we're going to wait 10 seconds. And like I said, you want to make sure you do this anytime you replace the battery or if it's a new siren. Okay, it's been roughly close to 10 seconds. So then you release the tamper switch. And then what will happen is that the strobes will begin to flash. And as it goes through its depacification, um, you heard it beep um, and the strobes quit flashing. So what you then do once the strobes quit flashing and it beeps every few seconds, you will press and hold the tamper switch and release. And now the battery has been depacified. You are now ready to enroll your siren into your Alexor or Impasa system. That's it. It's that easy to depacify the 4911 battery. Until next time, I'm Ryan with AlarmSystemStore.com.